A new air quality monitor project is about to provide people living in Pueblo County clarity on just how toxic their air is. A nonprofit is teaming up with the state's environmental justice task force to collect data on homes and businesses in Pueblo. Our Natasha Lynn is now live with us right now from Pueblo to explain, Natasha, the project and how it'll all work out. With the funding, Clean Air Pueblo just purchased 18 of these air quality data monitors, and the monitors will be installed at various participating businesses and homes that opted into the program. We know that we have disparate health impacts. We know that we have several large polluters in the area, um, but the air quality monitoring in Pueblo has been severely lacking for several years. Now, nonprofit Clean Air Pueblo is trying to change that. They'll be installing air quality monitors to collect data on toxic substances in the Steel City's air. Pueblo has several of the state's largest emitters of toxic air contaminants, including benzene, hydrochloric acid, mercury, and others. Um, and we also have uh, increased rates of asthma, COPD, and cardiovascular disease when compared with st state averages. What we don't have is the air quality data to start to make any kind of correlations there. For this new air quality monitor project, the group is focusing on one type of pollution that's known as particulate matter 2.5, which typically comes from manufacturing plants. The group plans to use the monitor data to push environmental regulators for stricter rules and more protections for people living near the pollution. Project coordinator Jane Fraser says most air quality data collected in Pueblo by public agencies is only collected once a year and right now is not shared with the public. That's exactly our goal is to start to collect that data and um, find out what might be contributing to Pueblo's disparate health impacts. Clean Air Pueblo just received the monitors yesterday. And while the nonprofit doesn't have an exact timeline on when the monitors will be installed, they do say that it will be happening soon. Reporting live in Pueblo, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.